Sinaiticus was compiled in the, in the 300s. This is in the uh, century, so the, at least three, four hundred years after. But we have, we, and it's not the same. We have many, many we have manuscripts that um, are certainly dated from around about 90 AD. No, they're not. Uh, which one? And where is it? And who dated it? So I'm asking some more questions. 90 AD. Which manuscript? What's it called? Where is it located? And who has dated it? Who is right? The sun. I'm just trying to think where the, um, the Sinaiticus is located. Uh, uh, there, might, there might be a copy in London, I'm not too sure. Might be, might you can do your own research, yeah. you won't find anything. I've got it online, but I'm not sure if it's actually physically located in London. So, there is nothing within the first century of Christianity, no manuscripts. Well, I've heard that there is from 90 AD, that's what I've heard. Yeah, you've heard, so, we call evangelical hopes, hopes in having something within the first century, but there isn't anything there. Because if there were, you'd be able to find the manuscripts, who's done the research, who's dated it, and it's all available online for the whole world to see. Dan Wallace, have you heard of this scholar? Well, what we can say... He actually talked about something there, but it's been many years we, now, he hasn't brought up anything. What, to what we can say is between 90 AD and the 300, there was... Uh, a progressive build-up of compilable material and by the 300s that was when they were able to put together um, Certainly, as I said, the correct so, you know, I mean, I'm, not, I'm not an expert in that field. Um, I'm kind of so like, how would you explain the extra number oh, sorry, of books in Codex Sinaiticus? Oh, yeah, I like the great story. Yeah, yeah. How would you explain the difference of the Armenian Bible, the Ethiopian Bible, the Coptic Bible, the Greek Orthodox Bible, and the Protestants of the Catholic Bible? The number of books are different. Some of them have 66, some of them have 73, some of them have 81. Some of them have 66, some of them have 73, some of them have 81. The, the Catholic yeah, Bible well, has yeah. more books, I've never like seen Mac, it before. Uh, Maccabees, like that. Yeah, it does look uh, when you Apparently, look if you bring anything to the kids, I'm very proud of my senior today. There, it's, it's very... Um, it seems all right. Decide which book is Obviously, you've got like the Council, the Council of Nicaea is, is influential in putting together the Bible. Um, there, I think there were two uh, incidences of the Council of Nicaea. Like I say, I'm not an expert in that field. Okay, leave that, leave that. There has been various councils throughout the centuries. They disagree. The Book of Revelation was disagreed even until the Middle Ages. Middle Ages. Whether it is really um, should be part of the canon. There's one book of Revelation, like the Russians. Right, so when, when do you believe Revelation um, I'm saying, included? even within the Middle Ages, as far as my reading goes, even within the Middle Ages, the, they were disputing whether the book of Revelation should be in the canon or not. Disputing. People were disputing. So the question is, when we say, when you said, how the Quran cannot be believed by yourself as a Christian when you have the teaching in Galatians, it, yeah, when it says whoever brings a, a gospel, different gospel has a different yeah, gospel. Yeah. I am now simply asking, what indeed was the gospel of Jesus? Well, 
what I would say, um, I think what a lot of Christians would agree, is it was the... Uh, you know who I mean? Yeah, I know who I mean. Of the... Well, the forming of the New Testament after Jesus left the earth. Newton? Yeah. I know that. The New Testament says, and Jesus went, like he went to Galilee and so on, and he preached these Gospels. So he was preaching his Gospels. Yeah, the good news, yeah. Gospels. Not good news. He was well, preaching okay. his gospel. Well, we believe Christians well, we believe that's the same. Let's understand that. He wasn't just preaching anything, he was preaching the gospel. That's your plan, right? Yeah, yeah. So he was preaching gospel. So whatever he was preaching is what people later thought, okay, this is what we think is the gospel of Jesus. So anonymous authors comes along and, and they compile the books and they say this is the gospel of Jesus. So now gospel of Matthew. We know it wasn't written by Matthew because there was no autograph copy for Matthew with this gospel. It circulated anonymously. So for the, all the other gospels. It is a pious attribution to them that well, we believe these people have written it. Well, Matthew, as far as I'm aware, Matthew and John were actual... Uh, uh, Matthew and John were disciples, as far as I'm aware. Yeah? The Gospel of Matthew, Mark and Luke. was it Mark and autographed? Luke, yeah. Was it autographed, written by Matthew? Are you telling me no. everyone in the world heard of people? Who wrote it? You can't say, oh, because it's not been, uh, you know, signed or um, it's, it's, it's not revelation from God. You know? So how do you know it's revelation from God? You know, if you was going to make that claim, then you could say, well, it's our sections of the Quran uh, signed off. You know, the Quran has and been we'll... all signed off to the letter by the Prophet to all his companions. Yeah, I mean, the, every the, single letter of it. This is, um, we're, we're going into history, we're going into fine details. And I, I would say to anybody who's kind of listening, really needs to go away and do the research. Yeah, um, so when you look at the Quranic transmission, all of the Quran, I mean, if you every want, if chapter you want to look of it, like every that. verse of it was memorized and transmitted. If you want was to look at it like memorized? that, how, how long did the Bible come into existence before the Quran? If you want to look at it like that, in a, in a do time you consider, scale. Do you consider anything that comes earlier is what we should be following? So the Jewish people would say, we should leave the Gospels of the New Testament, because that comes much, much later than the Torah. But, but don't Muslims place a lot of emphasis no, on the Old Testament? Let's look at your argument. So, Let's look at you know, your argument. As Christians and Muslims, we both refer to the Old Testament. Why would the Jewish people follow the New Testament when it came much later? Well, they reject Jesus anyway. So. Why should they follow the New Testament when it came later? I'm using your logic and your argument. Because it's later, much later, than the Torah, why should they follow the New Testament scripture? Because Jesus is who he claims to be. So it's nothing to do with something comes later or not. The argument is you know, something we, else. We've got we've got non, non Christians who witness the uh, crucifixion. So, so if you've answered my question, it has nothing to do with something comes later or not. It's irrelevant whether it comes later or not. Irrelevant. If a book comes later, yeah, but it's your whole point. irrelevant. No, no, but your whole point, point, your, point. Was, your whole point was the time scale <laughs> of when the Bible came into existence. No. You early on stated there's a teaching in Galatians. Whoever preached gospel other than yeah, 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 right. Yeah, so you said no Quran came 600 years later, much later. So how can we follow this? And it's different. So that's the implication. Yeah, yeah. So if the time scale is argument, then the Jewish people have a better argument to reject the New Testament because it's much later. So that's why you've answered in saying it's not to do with the, what comes later, it's to do with what Jesus claimed. No, so that, we can say the same thing, it's to do with no, 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 what Prophet that, Muhammad's that, lesson claimed. That question if he claims to be a prophet the and demonstrated and proved that he was a prophet, then there you go. That, that goes back to why did the Jews reject Jesus? Did Jesus consider himself to be God? Um, I mean, I would go to things like John 10, 13, I and the Father are one. Like I am not asking not you to quote me yeah. any verses or anything. Um, Ask yourself. Jesus forgiving sins. Me, Only God can Jesus, forgive you, sins. Okay. Uh, You've already mentioned two things. You can come back. Isaiah, Isaiah 53. Um, did Jesus, Jesus himself, himself in Matthew, did Jesus Christ himself consider that he was God of Israel? Well, he certainly considered he was his son. No, I didn't ask that. I'm not interested in whether he's considered his son. Did he consider he was God of Israel? 
Yes, yes, there's only one guy. Yes, he claimed the name from jo um, Daniel Seven, yeah. the son of man. Um, That's clearly I mean, a divine person. If we look in things like Revelation, okay. you know, we can see. Um, that, uh, just you can give your that. scriptural backup as an evidence, but answer the question first to yourself. Did Jesus Christ, who was walking on earth 2,000 years ago, did he really consider he was God on earth, God of Israel on earth? Well, we, we have to ask, do we believe he was walking, he performed those miracles, um, he, he told the water, the storm to calm down, um, I mean, he forgave sins, we, we can see this, uh, we can see uh, prophecy in the Old Testament about him, about what? Isaiah 53. About him being God of Israel? No, that he right. will... So don't bring irrelevant discussions. He will in. come, so, he will be pierced, no, no, etc. etc. The question is very specific. Did he himself consider that he was God of Israel? You are alluding to... Okay, let's deal with this. You are alluding well, to his John miracles. 10, 30, his, I and the Father are one. Okay, uh, so his statement... Other one. Verses. So that statement you think makes him God of Israel? Well, it, it, it was strong enough that the Jews wanted to kill him. It was strong enough that the Do Jews wanted to kill him. Really consider that statement that I and the Father are one is an exclusive claim to be God of Israel on earth. Well, the Jews certainly thought so. The Jews said, so that's why if, they wanted to stone so, him. So if Jewish people think he's a madman, they must be correct. Demon possessed, they must be correct. No, but he wasn't saying mad things. He was talking about... Excuse me, please, please, please. He was talking about God. Can, I, can I understand your argument? You were referring to the Jewish understanding of Jesus, of what he said, what he did. You were saying the Jewish people understood what he said and did. The Jewish people claimed that he was demon possessed and a madman. So their understanding is correct. He was demon possessed and a madman. That was uh, an interpretation of their worldly mind. So now you are saying their understanding is incorrect. That's what we believe. Yeah, yeah. Christians. So, so you cannot pick and choose when it fits you. When someone, so, let me finish. Let me finish. The Jewish people are accusing Jesus Christ of several things. He's a mere man blaspheming to be God. Yeah, and, and, and well, the like. That's what they right. believe. Yeah. They accused him of being demon possessed. They accused him of being a madman. So these are three accusations for simplicity. Sir. You are happy to take the accusation where Jesus, they claim, blasphemed and claimed to be God. You're saying they were right to that, in, in that. But when the same people accuse Jesus of being demon possessed, you're saying no, no, the accusation is untrue. Anybody can bring any accusation. So, do you accept an accusation from someone is not a proof of what the person accused of or saying. For example, if we go in a court of law and the accusation is I claim to be the president of this country. So the judge, do you think, should only take your accusation or should the judge ask me, did you claim that? Well, the judge will go by evidence. Evidence, good. Right, that's what I'm saying. So what evidence do you have other than accusations of people Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, consider himself God of Israel on earth. John 10 30. What does it say? Just for a start. What does it say? You know, uh, the fact that he forgave sins. No, no, what the, does John 10 30 say? It says, I am the Father of one. Okay. I am the Father of one. Uh, there's so, another verse. No, no, one at a time. You've seen me, you've seen the Father. One at a time. I am the Father of one is an exclusive claim to someone to be God of Israel on earth. Well, you can. You can twist it. But no, no, don't twist it. No, no, is no. it an exclusive claim? If somebody said it, I am the Father of One, it means he's God or she's God of Israel on earth. Well, another verse goes on. No, 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 no. This verse. Is this verse sufficient enough to exclusively demonstrate that this is a claim to be the God of Israel on earth? As far as I'm concerned, yes. Okay, okay. Let me tell you why um, you have to be then consistent. In John, Jesus later on says, just as I and the Father are one, so what kind of oneness is he talking about? The same oneness that you refer to. Okay. He says, you, my disciples, will also be one with us. So, if Jesus... Yeah, but does that mean can, I, can I finish? Can I finish? If being one with the Father makes Jesus God of Israel, that makes all of the disciples together God of Israel. 
because he says, just as I and the Father are one, you all ought, shall also be like one with us. Does it mean they're coming into the fold, into, in, in, as he's the shepherd, the good shepherd, they're coming into the fold? Understand Jesus' as analogy. He says, just as I and the Father are one, so shall you be. So is his oneness with the Father any different with his disciples? No, same oneness. If Jesus and the Father being one means he's God of Israel, the same oneness should be applied because he okay. uses the same language. So do you believe the disciples are God of Israel? You have to be consistent. They're, they're part of God's kingdom. No, I'm not whether saying that kingdom. Be on earth or whether are that be they also God? Like Jesus is God. God chosen. So, God, God so chosen. the disciples are also God. Yeah. At that point. I'm it. At that point. <laughs> I'm glad you jumped in. I was about to say that. <laughs> good conversation. Uh, so the disciples and, are no, also no, no, God. No, no, no. I want to leave it there. Why do you want to leave it there? Because it's important. No, 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 no. Because. Because. Yeah. It's just. If we continue, it's just going to be an exercise in picking apart scripture. I'm not picking anything. I was giving you the context. Now. The context of that statement is explained by Jesus just a few chapter later. Just a few chapters later. Unfortunately, Christians don't read the context. If you read the context, you would not make this claim ever again in your life okay. that Jesus and the Father one means he's God of Israel. Because now you see, just a few chapters later, he says, just as I and the Father are one, you, my disciples, will be also one with us. Okay, I'm going to end the conversation by saying, Galatians, if an angel or we give you an alternative gospel, a different gospel, I'm saying there is no alternative gospel. It will be cursed. What I'm saying That's is, it. my friend, yeah. Quran didn't come with, no, no, Quran didn't come with an alternative you know, gospel. I, I like you because you're a believer anyway, no, no, you know. My, my friend, listen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the gospel of Jesus was what? You shall worship none but God. Do you agree or disagree? No, I, 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 I've already outlined. Oh, you don't want to? No, I just want to send it there, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, but that was good chat, okay. anyway. Okay. Take care. Take care, my friend. Yeah, I, I love believers. Doesn't matter if you're a different religion, yeah? Take care. All right.